What was the cause of the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War in the 1800s? What was the cause of the Civil War? What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? Uh, I don't know. Um, are these guys joking? What would you say is the cause of the Civil War? The Civil War? What caused the Civil War? Huh. Um, they mostly, I'm thinking of, of the first war when we became Americans. And then we had a Civil War. What do you think caused our Civil War? Sin, I suppose, you know. There was something evil. Mankind is hard on each other, man. What the what? He said sin. And the first lady was on the phone. Maybe the guy on the phone could have at least answered it. I, these people are killing me. What do you think, sir, was the cause of the United States Civil War? Of the Civil War? Well, let's see. The North and South, they couldn't get along. It could happen here, too. Do you think we're near that? Here what? Do you think we're, we're getting toward a Civil War again? Uh... The good Lord only knows, but I think, you know, if he, if he thought it was going to end up this way, people are supposed to get along, aren't we? We're all Americans, not just Democrats and Republicans. Finally, somebody got it right. North and the South couldn't get along. He didn't mention slavery, but still, closer than the others. What do you think is the cause of the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War? Well, I think the Democrats are pushing the race issue extremely far. I don't, like, I had a black man at, the, at my door the other day. Um, I don't have an issue with race, but they're making it such a big issue. They're making it, you know, just even with this Claudia Gay that she was asked to resign from this college in Harvard. It's not a race issue, but they're making it that, and I don't agree with that. What about the Civil War in the 1800s? What do you think was the cause of that? Oh, yeah, that was slavery, wasn't it? God, so much to unwrap there. First of all, her final conclusion, she's like, ah, God, yeah, that was slavery, wasn't it? Ah, she had to finally admit that slavery has something to do with the conflict and the race and all that. Finally, she admits, ah, yeah. And then earlier she goes, I had a black man at my door the other day. I don't mind. What was that about? What is that? What's she even talking about? And the the other thing that you got to take note is the interviewer said, "What do you think about the Civil War?" The interviewer was talking about the Civil War in the eighteen hundred, the Civil War, and she went right to what's happening right now, and she said it's because uh, it's a race issue, and people are Democrats are making a big deal of the race issue. So she's claiming that the Civil War is currently happening. She's in that frame of mind, um, but. Anyway, all of this to say that at least she's somewhat educated. The others early on didn't even know what the Civil War was about. And of course, this is all coming from, stemming from the question that Nikki Haley was asked at her rally when she said, uh, oh, the Civil War was states' rights. And she was just making, she was tiptoeing around slavery as much as she could because these Trumpers, these MAGA folks do not want to admit at all that slavery did anything bad to black people. They've never done anything bad to people of color. They've never done anything bad to the indigenous people. Let's just forget about the history of America. Let's just forget about American history and let's just live in a bubble. Let's put our head in the sand and pretend none of this stuff ever happened. There was never discrimination against black people. That's not an issue at all. Don't make it about race. Why are you making it about race? The Homestead Act was an act that was giving uh, uh, land to white people and dis discriminating against black people. Uh, we know that there was loans and redlining that was done, loans, home loans that weren't given to black people, redlining done to keep black people out of certain neighborhoods. All of this stuff is historical. And these people don't want to admit it, and they don't want to admit that there was bad that happened in American history. America is a great country. There's been a lot of great things, but there's been a lot of bad things. And we can't ignore it. That's Nazi Germany Hitler. You can't silence your political opponents because you don't agree with them. Joe Biden should be in prison for his bribes. If Donald Trump were to be found guilty by a jury, <laughs> where, where, where do you see this going? Uh, civil war. Civil war. Divide it up because we can't live together, obviously. 
That was a Trump diehard talking to MSNBC New Hampshire. On top of calls for civil war, there were other MAGA faithful volunteering to guard Donald Trump and keep him from going to jail. And if he wants me to protect him, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to let him know that I'll do it. The vote was stolen. I believe it. In my heart. Remember, they blew up one of the uh, election quarters where they kept all of the Dominion machines. Why'd that blow up? Actually, it did not blow up. There was no explosion. A Dominion voting machine center was not tampered with. But wild conspiracy theories and the suspension of reality are a hallmark in MAGA world, thanks to right-wing media and also thanks to Donald Trump. At the New Hampshire rally, the former president took no responsibility for his criminal charges and placed all of the blame on Joe Biden. How can my corrupt political opponent, crooked Joe Biden, put me on trial during an election campaign that I'm winning by a lot, but forcing me nevertheless to spend time and money away from the campaign trail in order to fight bogus, made up accusations and charges? That's what they're doing. I'm sorry, I won't be able to go to Iowa today. I won't be able to go to New Hampshire today because I'm sitting in a courtroom on bullshit because his attorney general charged me with something. Now, it's not just the Justice Department which alleges Donald Trump committed crimes. Several of Trump's Republican opponents say his actions after the 2020 election went too far and were illegal. One of those Republican rivals is former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He says Vice President Mike Pence, another 2024 GOP candidate, would help convict Donald Trump if Pence was called to testify. So Trump hit back at Christie with this. No, oh, no, Christie's he's eating right now. He can't be bothered. <laughs> Sir, please do not call him a fat pig. That's very disrespectful. Don't call him. See, I'm I'm trying to be nice. Don't call him a fat pig. You can't do it. You can't do that. Even though Trump just did, the MAGA supporters at these rallies describe Trump as funny and entertaining and say they appreciate Donald Trump saying things out loud that are politically incorrect. He's not fake. He's he's upfront. You know what he's thinking. He he tells the truth. He was a little more honest than the rest of them. Uh, he he said things that uh, that were true, and the others they, they don't. I believe he's the most persecuted president we've ever had, and I, I think it's, he's, he's worth the trouble. The trouble with Trump, though, on top of the criminal cases and the blatant lies, is the hypocrisy. Donald Trump is outraged and infuriated over the indictments against him. But during the 2020 campaign, he publicly called on his attorney general to indict Democrats, including Trump's presidential campaign challenger, Joe Biden. Unless Bill Barr indicts these people for crimes, the, the greatest political crime in the history of our country, then uh, we're going to get little satisfaction unless I win and we'll just have to go because I won't forget it. But these people should be indicted. This was the greatest political crime in the history of our country. And that includes Obama and it includes Biden. But is this going to be the future of elections in America where a sitting president tells his tells his attorney general to indict the opponent, to try and knock the opponent down. This is what's happening. 